Hi everyone, Darcy Naros from Naros and Associates and Coal Banker Horizon Realty. Today, March recap for the market in Kelowna of 2020. It was an amazing month and I know we had a lot to deal with and I know the world is uh, we're just all in unknown right now. But let me tell you about what happened in March just to give you a little bit more factual information on what we did in, here in Kelowna. So what we saw was 396 homes sell in March which is actually about a 12% increase over this time last year. People are going to be like, why were we selling so many more homes over last year? Well, we also saw a lot of people that were kind of in a crunch that had to get into their home to get settled in or that had to sell because they had to get moved and settled in as well. So we did see a bit of a spike and that's where you see the 12% increase in sales. We do have, or we did have 2,676 active listings. And that's actually a decrease of about 6% over last year. What that, I think, means is the fact that the people that don't need to sell right now are just holding off. So the ones that had to sell, we saw the spike in the sales and the listings, we're seeing a decrease because people are going to hold off. What that tells me is we're going to have lower inventory, which if you're a buyer, that's going to be a little tougher right now. And if you're a seller, that might give you a little bit of an edge. However, as the months pro progress, we're going to see probably a spike the people that were wanting to list now that have held off or we're going to see that spike where everyone's going to merge together and probably come out all at once so just watch for that in the coming months days on market 69 days on market for the average home to sell that is amazing that's come down quite a bit that tells you that uh, again we had people that had to make quicker decisions so let's see what happens in april here now for price trend we saw single family homes actually increase by four percent over last year and again, I think people had to make quicker decisions so there weren't as much patience in the uh, market. They had to get there, buy a home, and move on. Townhomes, we saw again a little over 4% increase. However, in the condo market, we did see a decrease. We saw a decrease of almost 10% in the price. And I think that is because of this insurance uh, issue that we're seeing out there. That we can talk about down the road if you want to give me a call. So let's move on to the individual categories. So the average price for a condo is just over 331,000. We sold 91 condos in March, but the highest condo sale in March was $620,000. And the most affordable condo that we sold in March was $89,000. Townhomes, saw 74 townhomes sell in March. Uh, average price was just over $516,000. And the highest townhome sale in March was one million and five thousand dollars and the lowest was two hundred eighty thousand so obviously there's quite a spread there now single family homes we saw just shy of 200 198 single family homes sell in march the average price was seven hundred and fifty six thousand dollars but the highest priced sale last month in the lower mission was 5.5 million dollars for single family home sell and the lowest price was $264,000. If you guys need any more questions on the market, uh, what's going to happen, what should we do, should we list now, should we wait, please give us a call, Nairos and Associates, 250-258-9888. Thanks.